Hello everyone, welcome back to learnautomation.com. This is Mukesh. In this video tutorial, we are going to cover Chrome browser with Selenium. So uh, today we will focus on the Chrome driver and uh, this is the high level agenda for this. What is Chrome driver? Why we need separate driver for Chrome and other browsers? What is illegal state exception and how to set the path? So let me show you, uh, let me go to the Eclipse. So this is our regular project. I will simply close this and let me close this unnecessary windows. So let me uh, navigate to official website of Selenium. That is seleniumhq.org. Now, if you click on download sections, and just know yeah so here you can see we have one section called third party driver binding and plugins so this uh, third party drivers that is not developed by selenium hq so by default selenium support only firefox browser so for executing other browsers like google chrome opera ghost driver microsoft edge windows phone ios blackberry apm you need a separate driver which will help you to execute tests in a different browsers. For IE, you will get a separate section. So we'll discuss in the next part. But as of now, just focus on this third party drivers. So you can see they have done, uh, done the latest changes on 28th August, I guess. So you will find, find the change log here. So if you want to see what are the enhancement they are doing in the new versions. So previously they had 2.16, 1.7 and so on. So latest is 2.19. So it supports the Chrome from version 43 to version 47. And they have done a couple of fixes here. So you can see all this. So, and uh, you can see the wiki page of Selenium. And uh, if you need the description of Google Chrome driver, you can simply open a new tab and you can check. Okay, so that is the official uh, Chrome driver documentation here. So we need to download this driver. So if you click on 2.19, you will get this window. Now we having this driver for Mac, Windows, Linux, right? So for Windows, you can see we are getting only one option for 32. But if you are working with 64-bit machine, that's also fine because currently I'm working with 64-bit, but this 32-bit driver will work. So if I click here, it will ask me to download this. So I will click on save file. So it will take some, yeah, so it is downloaded. And if I go to download section, you can see this driver downloaded. So I will, either I can keep it here, but generally I prefer I will keep into C drive. I will create another folder and I will say Selenium. drivers and I will paste that Chrome driver here if you paste copy paste and if you say extract here this is a zip file actually so you need to extract this so you will get one exe file you can see it's an application if you double click on it you will see it will show you yes starting Chrome driver 2.19 but we don't want to run in this way we will trigger this via a script so this is our project. Uh, let me create a separate package. Package name I will give you Chrome browser. Here I will create a sample script. They will say launch application and I will take public static void main. Just remove this unnecessary comment. Now, if you see, if I start Chrome driver, I will get one exception. So I will show you. Uh, let me type web driver driver equal to new Chrome driver. It will ask me to import this web driver. So I will say import. It will ask me to import Chrome driver. So I will say yes, import. Now you can see I have created object of Chrome driver. So if I run this, so you can see I'm getting one exception called illegal state exception. 
So what exact exactly this exception says, if you simply see the path of the driver executable must be set by this property. So thank you so much for Selenium for giving us so much information about this exception. It's simply saying that please specify the path of this driver with this property. So this is the property that we need to set and they have given the link also from where you can download the driver. Anyways, we have the driver ready. So why we need separate driver for other browsers? So by default, Selenium support only Firefox. So for other browsers, you need a separate drivers. So how you can set this property? We have one predefined class called system class. And if you put dot operator and say set property, you can see I'm getting one option called set property, which simply, if you see this description, it simply accept two things. One is the key and one is the value. So key is nothing but the this property that we have copied. So exact property which we need to type is webdriver.chrome.driver. So you don't have to remember, it will directly guide you. And in the second argument, you need to specify the path of the Chrome driver. So yes, this is the path. One is um, good thing about Windows, if you press shift, and if you right click on this, you will get one option known as copy as path. So what I will do, I will simply go here and I will specify the path. And in Chrome, sorry, whenever you specify the path, always use double slash. So that's all for this <coughs> browser. You need, don't have to do any other settings here. So once this application uh, browser will launch, I will try to open my blog that is learnautomation.com, learn-automation.com. And I will print the title. So I will say sys out driver dot get title. So let's run this. So this is one of the interview question as well, like what is illegal state exception? So you can say whenever we don't specify any other browser path, we get this exception. Now you can see it started Chrome browser and uh, it will simply pass my blog URL and it will return the title as well. We have not given command to maximize the browser, so it will not maximize. So once this page will load completely, it will print the title. So you can see the title is printed now, Selenium WebDriver Tutorials, free Selenium tutorial. So you have seen, we have to download this driver. Until you don't download and don't give the path, it will not trigger your Selenium script. So this is called uh, key and value. Value is nothing but the driver path. Key, we already uh, got from the log, okay? And uh, you see, we have this Chrome driver imported automatically by Eclipse. So let's see whether we have covered or not. So we have seen Chrome driver. Chrome driver is nothing but an internal set of uh, application. Uh, for every browser, you will get this driver. So I will show you in the next tutorials. You will get driver for Safari, Opera, uh, IE browser. Okay, and uh, illegal state exception already we discussed. Until you don't specify path, you will get this exception always. And to set this path, we need to call uh, system.setProperty method. So that's a very small tutorial. So just try the remaining script in the Chrome browser and let me know if you find any issue. Thank you. Bye-bye.